हेलो एंड वेलकम टू ऑल द यू पी एस सी स्पायरेंस इन दी मनी वाई एस अगैन मैं स्वागत करता हूँ आपका इशू एंड एनालिसिस सीरीज में वेर आई ब्रिंग अ नंबर ऑफ टॉपिक्स विच आर इम्पॉर्टेंट फॉर द यू पी एस सी प्रॉब्लम्स एज वेल एज फॉर द मेन्स एग्जाम टूडे आई हैव कम विद अ टॉपिक विच इज़ वेरी मच इन न्यूज रिसेंटली इट इज़ राइट टू लीगल एंड सेफ अबोर्शन वी विल सी इन दिस वीडियो एज टू वट इज़ अबोर्शन हाउ इट हैपन्स वट आर दी वेरियस पार्लियामेंट्री इंस्टीट्यूट एंड दी एक्ट्स ऑन इट सो सी वन बाय वन and those students who wants to join the indian polity module of mine in the abimanyu ys they may have a look on this chart because i am giving 3 days free trial for the both prelims and the mains for indian polity module where i'll be you know teaching indian polity along with the governance and will be giving the personal mentorship also now let's see what the legal abortion right is all about so why the first question comes why it is a matter of concern why we are seeing it in the news so under the medical termination pregnancy act this is a parliamentary law all women have this right of abortion up to until 24 weeks of their pregnancy regardless of their marital status which simply means that if a woman if a lady if a girl is married or not she has the right for the abortion within the 24 weeks of the pregnancy period so 24 mahine जब तक उसके पेट में फर्टस होता है तब तक उसको हक है अबोर्शन करवाने का दिस लाइन इज सिंपली सिग्निफाइंग दैट अंडर दी मेडिकल टर्मिनेशन ऑफ प्रेगनेंसी एक्ट व्हिच इज अ पार्लियामेंट्री लॉ ऑफ इंडिया देन द प्रेगनेंसी रिजल्टेड फ्रॉम कंसेंटिंग रिलेशनशिप व्हिच मींस व्हेन बोथ द पार्टीज वेन द मेल पार्टी एंड दी वुमेन पार्टी फीमेल पार्टी बोथ वर एग्री और बोथ आर एग्री सो दैट सिंपली मीन्स कंसेंट कंसेंटिंग रिलेशनशिप दैट डिड नॉट रिजल्ट इन मैरिज and its abortion is not mentioned in the act which was a bone of contention which simply says that pregnancy resulted from consenting relationship means sex has happened between both the parties with consent but that didn't result in the marriage marriage nahi hui un logon ki and its abortion is not mentioned so this provision is not mentioned in the parliamentary act of medical termination of pregnancy act which we have just discussed This was a bone of contention in this law. कि उन ladies के साथ क्या होगा The ladies which will you know surpass from this provision. So 2021 amendment in the Act remarked that the word spouse changed to partner, which simply means that earlier the husband or the wife were concerned, but now in the year 2021 this Act has been amended to change this word spouse to the partner, which means before the marriage. the provision would also be applying hence include unmarried women under its purview here the bone of contention was un ladies ka kya hoga jinki consent relation to tha but marriage nahi hui so 2021 mein us amendment se is provision ko have been made the inclusive part of this act ki jinki nahi hui unke liye bhi ye kanun kaam karega then what this mtp act is all about medical termination of pregnancy act if this question comes in prelims so in prelims the upsc examiner may ask the salient features of the mtp act so let's see it legalize abortion in the country under various circumstances since 1971 so this is the date of inception of this act then it was amended in 2003 to enable women's access to safe and legal abortion services to safe with a number of medical safe standards standardized mechanisms and legal as per the mtp act as per the legal sanctions the idea of terminating pregnancy is purely by choice no one can force to abortion no one can force for the abortion to a woman and that is completely illegal what are the circumstances see one by one if pregnancy continuation poses a risk to the life of mother or her mental health there are number of incidents where the because of the pregnancy the woman suffers a lot because of her pre conception medical problems right then abnormal foetus abnormal foetus which is not well which is not good and if it will be you know let to come in the real world so that will put a danger on the life of not only the foetus but also of the mother pregnancy occurred as a failure of contraception right the medical mechanisms which we have in the form of contraceptions to avoid the pregnancy if that pregnancy has been occurred because of failure of that conception so that will also be considered as a important ground on which you can go for the abortion 
and pregnancy is a result of sexual assault or a rape right if a rape has happened if a sexual assault or the molesting has happened so that will also be considered as a enough ground for the abortion then pregnancy can be terminated up to 24 weeks of the gestational age which means after the interception and the opinion of two registered medical practitioners under the following conditions would be taken which simply means that we require two medical doctors two medical practitioners registered under the government of india registered under the medical authorities who will give their recommendations for the abortion in certain circumstances if a woman is a survivor of sexual assault and she has been proved so by the court of law then if she is a minor less age then her marital status has changed during the ongoing pregnancy right during the pregnancy if um, you know marital status has been changed she is divorced with someone she has engaged with someone so these are the simply meaning of this if woman is mentally in or has physical disabilities if she is not well then foetal malformation because these two points we earlier discussed in the previous slide that foetal malformation and woman mental health or the physical health will pose a very much danger if the uh, abortion will not happen if woman is under abnormal emergency situations declared by the government if the government itself has been declared that the condition of woman is very critical very emergent and we have to do the abortion so as to provide a suitable life to not only her but to the other number of people so these are the certain conditions and the prerequisites i would say on the basis of which the medical doctors will give their recommendation for the abortion then what is the 2021 amendment so there are basically three lines of amendments which have been done in the year 2021 first the gestation limit has been raised from 20 to 24 weeks earlier we had only 20 weeks time but now onwards we'll be having 24 weeks time mandatory approval of two registered medical practitioners which i just mentioned to you unka consent lena padta hai and right to be terminated unwanted pregnancies unwanted pregnancies is a very vague very broad term which includes and incorporates a number of conditions and a number of circumstances like mental health foetal abnormal foetal abnormalities and marital rape status changed so there are number of provisions which are the part of this unwanted pregnancies failure of the contraception was also we discussed now the question is criticism of abortion right because we are country like india where we see life in the leaves also where we see life in the in the sand also in the air also in the water also we have panch tattva ideology right ki pura sharir panch tattvon se banta hai so when we have so important and so integral values which are normally called asian values so how we can allow the abortion to take place how can we allow the abortion to take uh, you know place and to happen so there is a controversy which is in the practical world that whether the abortion is good or whether abortion is right or, or wrong so let's see one by one the so first is criticism about of abortion which simply says that abortion should not be allowed so first it gives pain to the foetus because if you go on social if you go on youtube like channels and you search how the abortion happens after 24 weeks so you will see that it is a very critical thing right and um, it obviously gives pain to the foetus and inhumane and cruel thing right the pieces of flesh are cutted like if the abortion then happens then causes psychological damage to the young adult woman who has gone from this kind of thing and this is a very practical thing if a if a 20 to 24 years girl is going from this kind of thing so that definitely puts a psychological damage on her mind cases of selective abortion which simply means that if the abortion will be allowed to take place so there will be a number of selective abortions which will be happening with the naive interest with the insensible interest against morality and stepping away from taking responsibilities this line signifies that the pregnancy most of the times or let's say sometimes happens with the consent but after that the people avoid taking the responsibilities of that you know that act and that it's a dent on the responsible behavior of someone then promotes throwaway culture which simply means that if you are 
doing uh, intercourse between your partner and because of any sort of reason that uh, preg that results into the pregnancy and you are going for the abortion because on the certain grounds so that in certain way promotes the throw away culture where you, you have done where you, where you have enjoyed but you do not want to bear the fruit of that then what are the arguments in the favor of abortion so let me tell you very clearly that the criticism of the abortion is limited and the favor of abortion is very much in numbers the reason being it is highly required because on the certain conditions and the circumstances which we discussed so first it upholds the individual conscience and decision making because this is a liberal and the liberalism philosophy where someone says that i am the owner of my body and i will be taking all the decisions as per my conscience so that it's signifying that it is my decision to decide what my body will gonna see then Reproductive choices empowers women by giving them autonomy over their body and in determination of their future. If this right has been empowered to the woman, so it will provide them an upper hand in the society in which they can decide at what time they need pregnancy and what time they need a number of things. No proof of foetal pain as per the neuroscientist. Pain happens when cortex is functional which happens only after 24 weeks of pregnancy. So as per the medical researches of the neuro, neurosurgeons, neuroscientists, it has been published in the international journals that after 26 weeks, the cortex takes place and the pain happens to the foetus. But before that, before the 24 weeks, if the abortion is going to happen, so that will not result into the pain. Reduced maternal injury and death caused by unsafe illegal abortions. So obviously, if illegal abortions and you know unsafe abortions will happen, um, uh, will not happen. So injury and death will be curtailed. अगर हम pregnancy को नहीं रोकेंगे, जिससे कि medical health ladies की खराब हो, so that will put a major burden on the mental health and the physical conditions of that woman and result into the maternal maternal injury. It protects mother and the future coming children health from any form of abnormalities. If the timely information is being provided to you by the medical practitioners and the doctors that your foetal is abnormal and before the 24 weeks you can go for the abortion. So I personally believe that this is not a wrong thing and we should go. The reason being otherwise if that baby comes out so that will put a burden not only on him but also on his entire family. So that will put a danger to the whole family prevent social stigma and women's exclusion from the society if because of certain grounds like rape non consensual sex and failure of the contraception the woman gets pregnant and the abortion is allowed so it will provide it will prevent her social stigma and women exclusion from the society because we are the traditional indian society where people see this kind of thing as very high very highly sensible and you know it can do the exclusion of the woman from the society not only of the woman but also the family who earlier used to become the victim of domestic violence so earlier what used to happen if the, someone gets to know that she was pregnant so that also bring domestic violence into the picture with that particular lady or with that particular girl it prevent unwanted children and helps in population control lifelong physical and financial burden on women's head so these are the different conditions which helps in justifying the idea of abortion that we should let the abortion take place so this much is in the issue and the analysis series of the today where we discussed what what the right to legal and the safe abortion is all about what the mtp medical termination of pregnancy act is all about what are the favors and what are the disfavors of the abortion rights in india as well as in the entire world so thank you so much we'll be meet we'll be meeting on the next day with the next topic thank you